hello again my friends, now in this video I'm going to show you how to get this gorgeous exotic new monarchy cloak of the rising. Now the first step is to reach new monarchy rank 25, when you do this you will then need to visit the new monarchy faction vendor in the tower to receive the executors champion quest. Now to complete this quest you'll need to pass 4 stages, kill numerous minions of the darkness, complete 10 heroic strikes, kill numerous foes in the crucible and win 10 crucible matches and you'll need to complete each of these 4 stages while wearing a new monarchy shader, emblem and class item and once you've done this you'll then need to return to the new monarchy vendor for your exotic cloak. Now you may be thinking hey that's a lot of grinding for a cloak, is it worth it? Well let's have a look at it in more detail. So then here's my level 40 hunter rocking the exotic new monarchy faction cloak and as you can see it's got the distinctive yellow and white colour that you can always expect from a new monarchy piece of armour. So let's have a look at this thing's perks. Its description reads, the new monarchy is the Aegis that guards humanity. Its perks include increased intellect, increased discipline, pulse rifle focus and sniper rifle focus. But here's where things start to get really interesting. This also increases the new monarchy reputation gains and adds a new monarchy effect on spawn. Now if you're curious about this, stick around until the end of the video because I'm actually going to show this off to you guys. And it also has perhaps my favourite thing about this cloak, the life exotic. This piece of exotic armour can be equipped at the same time as other exotic armour. So then let's have a look at this in action. As you can see, I'm rocking one piece of exotic armour. Now I'm going to equip my Acleafrad Symbiote. It's one of my favourite uh, exotic pieces in the game and that, that, it kind of looks weird doesn't it? You're wearing two exotic pieces of armour at the same time and this cloak allows you to do that and that's probably my favourite thing about it. Now then, I talked earlier about the, the spawn effect that this cloak also gives so we're going to look at that right now. So then here I am in the tower and I'm about to show you the special spawn effect that comes with this cloak. Now first of all I have to commit suicide so let's jump off and when I respawn you'll see a cool red colour and a cool new sound so check this out. There you go, it kind of turns red, you've got a red glow, you've got a slightly distinct sound too. Let's see that again in super slow-mo, in case you missed it. So then, that's how you get the new monarchy exotic faction cloak. Is it worth grinding for? In my personal opinion, yes. I love the fact that you can wear two exotic pieces of armour at once. The spawn effect is very subtle, but it's there nonetheless. And yeah, so I would advise you to rank up to new monarchy faction 25 and grab this piece of gear. Now guys, the Taken King is finally out. You may be wondering what my initial impressions are. Well, I've been grinding away for 10 hours now, and my god, is there a lot to do. It's pretty damn overwhelming, actually. The Dreadnought is huge. There are so many chests to collect, there are so many little bits and pieces to find within the Dreadnought, but I'm having an absolute blast. But yeah, if you're feel, feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all, all the new quests and what exactly to do, don't worry, you're not alone, we all are. But hey, stay tuned to World Console, because I have lots of videos planned to make it a little bit easier to get you around the Dreadnought, lots of uh, guides planned and things like that. I'm gonna, uh, my next video is going to be about uh, a sword, how to get the sword, what the, you know, the perks of the swords are, stuff like that. So if you enjoy Daily Destiny, content don't forget to hit that subscribe button thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and as always my friends we'll speak again soon until next time guardians